Hey guys and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we are looking at another Mandarin spawn. So this was released in June 2004. This is part of the Spawn Reborn series, series 2 in the Reborn series. So an interesting fact about this one is we have kind of already unboxed this one. We unboxed a 12 inch Mandarin spawn and this is the exact same figure only in a different color and in a different series so i thought that was quite interesting we have unboxed quite a few mandarin spawns so far if you want to go have a look at those videos um, so you can kind of yeah see the other ones and see this one as well so yeah i think they're gonna look awesome when i've got them all unboxed and in a display case together uh, these mandarin spawns just the detail on them is just yeah incredible every time but anyway let's get him out of his box and check him out all right guys so we've got the nice box that i kind of let you look at already but you can see inside that the detail on this guy is just incredible so yeah obviously reborn series What's interesting is there's a lot of red on this packet, and I'm not sure that we've had that sort of amount of red on a packet before. This looks really nice as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it's really cool the way that they've done the side thing. And Series 2, as you can see there. So we've got the back with a ton of guys on here. But as you can see here, it says that yeah, these have all come from previous spawns and other things that have been released and now they're kind of redone in this reborn series so that's kind of cool and interesting but yeah they got some really cool ones um i actually don't have any of these ones i think they all look really cool though and then we've got the heap down here which is the collector's club exclusive so anyway, let's get him out of his box. We got another clamshell that I'm just gonna rip open as usual. So sometimes I do feel bad about ripping open these boxes because obviously somebody's left their figure in there for so long, but I also wanna take them out and review them and check them out because I never had these as kids. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but here's Mandarin spawn anyway. So I thought we'd have a look at the pullout. So we've got spawn the dark ages so that's the original series that this one came in but now it's in the reborn series and of course we've got ultimate action figure written across it and so this is for the classic comic covers which is probably my favorite series just yeah they look absolutely amazing however the advertising that we've got here is absolutely horrendous look at these tiny little pictures that they've got for them and then they actually have a model of something that's not even spawn up here. So yeah, I can't believe that they did those little ones for spawn. But this this is how to do it. So we've got three figures here. I think it's Vlad the Impaler, Rasputin, and Conan, I believe. Oh no, we've got it down here. Could be Jack the Ripper, I think. But anyway like we get a good look at those figures and yeah McFarlane just didn't do it for his own ones for the classic comic cover so very disappointed but anyway let's get Mandarin spawn out of his box here so he's got a couple of features he's got the shield he's got the sword as well as the like double sword I guess I'm not really sure what you call that but here he is here and yeah he looks fantastic. Uh, we will of course have a better look at him later on but it's just a little sneak peek. So let me get these swords out. So unfortunately they are taped in and yeah with the tape on them they kind of leave like a, a residue sometimes so that's no good. But we have his horn here as well so this actually has a print on it, so I don't think I've seen one with a, a print on it before, but it's a nice little touch. And then we've got his double sword. I don't, I don't know what this is called. It's like the lightsaber from Star Wars. Um, so that's that. I love it in this copper paint. It looks really good, and it's got a bit of a shine to it and some like sparkly bits in it. So that just slides in like that, and yeah, very big. 
and then we've got the shield so lovely detail on the shield and I love this green that green is like yeah really cool and then the back's just got yeah really nothing on it um, I think the other one actually had some symbols and stuff so then we've got the two swords so they don't like staying in there and I'd recommend just yeah just not playing with them at all um, yeah and then it came with this gold string and I don't know what this is about I don't know why there's gold string in here we didn't get any string with the other one so not sure what that's about but let's check out his articulation so a bit in the head bit in the shoulders we've got some on this wrist but not on the other one there's some in this elbow as well but as usual like you can't really position these what in different ways like you can with the ones these days you really need to just keep them in one position that they were made for and that's kind of it so there's nothing in the knees there are some in the hips there and that's really it so what's that like seven points of articulation I guess so I'm gonna try and put him together here these tend to not go too well on camera we'll get his arm out of the way here and this just slots in like this hopefully there we go that wasn't too hard but I did complain last time I think about that because it does stick out so far but I guess it's fine it looks better on the six inch here I think anyway but let's get this horn in so yeah it's got a very weird uh, slot so the horn always kind of is positioned backwards which I think it would look better if it curved like over his head it would have been nice to actually just get like a round slot for it and then I could kind of position it however I wanted but unfortunately it's not like that and you need to apply quite a bit of pressure to get it in there so it's rubber so oh this fell off already <laughs> let's get this back on all right so he's back on you don't want to know how long that just took <laughs> but anyway he's back on now so let's try and get this double handed sword in here um, this one always proves to be uh, quite a problem and his hands not too bad like it's not too tight that I'm gonna have to fight it but oh, maybe I'm gonna have to fight it a little bit I do find with these six inch ones that it's always a battle to try and get things in their hands or whatever but it's not too bad I don't think so I think it's he's supposed to stand like this or something with it not 100% sure but yeah let's get his shield on so this should slide on very easily there we go perfect so yeah I noticed one thing with this figure is yeah his feet are pretty unstable they're not very flat I don't like to uh, stand up which is a little unfortunate because obviously I want to put him in a display case or I don't have to worry about him but yeah it is what it is so looking at the packaging they actually have him with his hand positioned down like this with his sword coming down and that actually balances him really well so that's how I'm gonna keep him even though I'd kinda like to have his hand up with the sword on show that would be nice but yeah this is the better way to display him so anyway guys I'll leave you with the showcase and I'll be back with my final thoughts like usual
All right, guys. So that has been a look at Mandarin Spawn from the Rebirth line, uh, Reborn line. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think you know I've kind of already reviewed this because we looked at the twelve inch one, which is exactly the same. I think in his six inch form, he looks still very nice. Obviously, the twelve inch is like absolutely lovely, but I think in the twelve inch line, in this different color scheme, he still looks really cool. Um, unfortunately, where they painted him black, like you lose the details, especially on the face. That it, uh, it looks like they've done multiple coats on that, which is like really odd, um, and I feel like that takes away from it a little bit. Um, on the legs is fine, of course, but I just think that face is just yeah, just takes away a bit of the detail. It would have been nice to have seen it like this bone color, like everything else. And yeah, I love this bone color. You can see that they put a black wash over the top of it, which just really works. And yeah, it's just made it, yeah, really cool. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of like scuffing and detail errors and stuff, which like you expect, like you have to keep in mind, unlike the anime figure that I unboxed, you expect that to be perfect. These are like $20 toys that came out um, came out like 20 years ago so you don't expect that level of detail however there is yeah a lot of uh, scuffs and things there's this weird one on the back that almost looks like a thumbprint or something um, of course we have the tape on the swords which is kind of like left stuff on them um, the shield as well, obviously they've got this same plastic shield which kind of holds onto his arm. And that's unfortunate because it will scuff up that arm if it keeps coming off. So I recommend, you know, just leaving it as is. Just either have it on or have it off, but don't keep taking it on and off. But overall, I think he looks amazing. Um, I would have really liked to have seen him in 12 inch. If this comes in the 12 inch, like if this color scheme comes in the 12 inch form, let me know please, because I will definitely try and pick that up. I think, yeah, he looks amazing. I love the, just the white bone effect that is all over him. It looks really cool. So I think he's gonna look awesome standing next to the rest of the figures in this, or the rest of the Mandarin spawn figures. Um, I will say though the rope, the gold rope, I don't know why they kind of threw that in there. Really weird. Um, obviously I've said before that I don't like things that I can lose from these figures. I really don't like the idea of having one of these figures on my shelf and it doesn't have all the components that came in the box. So yeah, the rope thing just kind of annoys me, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if, if you're a fan of the rope or not, but, um, yeah. Do let me know what you think in the comments. So let me know if you, you've got this figure, you like this figure, or are you gonna pick him up? Cause yeah, I think he looks amazing. Definitely one that you need in your spawn collection. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. Please leave a like on this video. That really helps me out and check out my other videos. I've got a ton of videos now. So um, yeah, do check them out. If it's your first time here, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.